Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. You're watching JB Baldomero Blog. For today's video, features flow meter after a short intro. But before we go any further, a word of caution. Don't let just the salaries drive your choices. Let your desire drive your choices. There is wholehearted passionate effort. Passionate effort leads to expertise. Where there is expertise, opportunities and success follow. Flow sensors can be divided into two groups, contact and non-contact flow sensors. Contact flow sensors are used in applications where the liquid or gas measure is not expected to become clogged in the pipe when it comes into contact with the sensors, moving parts. The working principles of flow sensors. The working principles is based on Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's principle means is a key concept in fluid dynamic that relates pressure, speed, and height. The principle state that the drop of pressure across the meter is simply propositional. A sensor is a device which converts the physical parameters of a quantity into corresponding electrical output. A transducer's transform energy from one forms to another, such as speed, into electrical signal. A sensor does not have any other components except its sets. The difference between sensors and transducer both are used to sense a change within the environment. They are surrounded by or an object they are attached to. How is sensors classified? Sensors can be classified into displacement, speed, acceleration, force, pressure, flow rate, temperature, light intensity, humidity, and concentration. Sensors have many advantages including their ability to provide real-time data, their precision and accuracy, and their ability to work in harsh environment. However, they also have some disadvantages including cost, susceptibility to interference and damage and also limited lifespan. The characteristics of sensors include sensitivity, resolution, linearity, zero drift, and full-scale drift, range, repeatability, and reproducibility. Sensor's accuracy is defined as the degree of agreement between the display or measure and correct value. This measuring device considered to be accurate if it has a high measuring precision and high measuring correctness. Till then, thank you for watching, if you like this video please, consider to subscribe, my YouTube channel, and don't, forget to click the notification, icon, and you will be updated for, my video, once again gracias, adios.